Hey y'all, I hope y'all are doing well this week. So I just popped outside for a little bit today and we are getting a slow and steady drizzle here in Dothan, Alabama, zone 8B. Um, so I'm really thankful for that. So I wanted to do a quick video for y'all today to kind of show you what I've been up to in the garden this week. I've been pretty busy. Uh, in the last video, we updated my island bed in the front of my house. Well, this week I kind of took a little detour. Um, as you can see behind me, I have been working in the beds right at the front of my house, laying the black landscape uh, weed deterrent fabric. And I know that there are pros and cons to that fabric, but it just got to the point where I was just spinning my wheels. And so it was time for me to do something a little bit proactive to try to take some control of the weeds. Also, a development that happened this week is that I had planted some original endless summer hydrangeas in the front of the house several months ago, and I had this great dream that they were going to be beautiful and big and lush and that the blooms would just pop against the brick of my house. Well, unfortunately, that did not pan out because they were getting way too much sun. And so this week I had to make a decision about what to put in place of the original Endless Summers. I chose the Bubblegum Pink Drift Roses. They're called the Sweet Drift Rose. I'm really, really excited about it because I love Drift Roses. I had some at the other house. Um, and so I feel like they're gonna be the perfect replacement in these front beds. And also I had someone come out today and plant a Chinese fringe tree in my front yard. I'm so excited about this tree. I think it's going to be an awesome focal point in the front yard uh, and just add another layer to the garden. So I'm just going to bring y'all along with me today in this video and let y'all see all of the things that are going on in the garden. So I appreciate y'all watching and hope you enjoy. So here's the Chinese fringe tree. I'm so happy. I think it is so, so cute. I just absolutely love it. And I can't wait for the spring for it to bloom out white and then leaf out. So it's just going to be an awesome addition to the house. I can stand back already and just see that it creates another layer. And I am just in love.
we are on the left side of my front porch in this garden bed, right up under our bathroom windows, our master bathroom windows. So I told y'all that I had to make a change. I had originally planted some original endless summer hydrangeas in the spot right where you see these drift roses. So they were getting too much sun and I had to do a little bit of thinking about what I wanted to replace them with and I ultimately decided on drift roses. I love drift roses. Okay, these are called sweet drift roses and they have a bubblegum pink bloom. They have great evergreen interest. They're easy, low maintenance, and they're also going to give me some really good color in each of these two garden beds. This one and the one over by the driveway. Okay, y'all, so all day yesterday and the day before, I worked out here in the front beds laying the black mesh weed deterrent fabric, and it was really long, hot, hard work. And I do realize that there is no perfect solution for weeds, but I do think that because I laid this fabric, I should have less weeds. I just feel like I should just have less weeds, and that's really what I'm going for. So today I am going to be spreading out the pine straw and I can't wait to see the finished product. So y'all just stay tuned. <music> So yesterday I finished up with the black landscape fabric and today I came in and laid 25 bales of pine straw that I got from my local nursery all along the front of the house, basically from the driveway just to about the point where you can see from the road because I still have some things that I'm going to do over here in this south facing garden. For one, I'm gonna plant a tree, an Eagleston holly here to mirror the one that I have over by the driveway. So y'all will see that soon. But I'm definitely not done over here on the side. So I stopped with the landscape fabric right here under the Tamukiyama Japanese maple. So let me show you guys what I did over here and on the other side of the house where I have another bed right by the driveway that has four boxwoods and three um, drift roses. Okay, so what I did was I pulled the boxwoods out from the house. I put them at about 34 inches from the house and about 42 inches from one another. So these are, I think, Green Mountain boxwoods and eventually they will get probably about four feet 
wide. So the 42 inches apart from each other allows them to get about a little under two feet per side for each boxwood before they touch. So that is gonna be a really classy look, I think. And I've got a picture that I wanna show y'all of a house that's in a neighborhood that's right near us. So that's the look I'm gonna be going for. And here are the three drift roses that I planted, the sweet drift rose that's a bubblegum pink. And I hope that my phone will capture the pink color. This one here is really happy. So I have three drift roses as well as four boxwoods on the other side of the front near the driveway. I did the same thing to the boxwoods on the other side and I also planted three drift roses in front and another three um, up under the Eagleston Holly. So thank y'all for watching and um, I will see y'all in the next one. Have a great rest of your weekend.